Hey folks and welcome back to the mountain. I'm Tony from Gagnon's Mountain Homestead. We got a lot to do today, but first we got to put some fuel on the tractor. I hate these cans, these newfangled cans. They're such a pain. No fuel comes out. You know what? I hate these things. Let's just try it this way. Oh, uh, these. Oh, 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 you know, there's got to be a better way to do this. Got to be a better way. Well, we definitely don't want a repeat of that. Uh-uh. No way. So, we got to come up with a better way of fueling the tractor. So, we found this. It is the John Dow Industries Portable Fuel Station. We're going to unbox this. We're going to take a look at it. And we're going to show you how it works. And then, we're going to put it in place in the carport so we can fuel our tractor whenever we need to. Let's get started. So, it comes in this nice box here. We're going to go ahead and open it up and see what's in the box. Bought it on Amazon. Um, you can do a search on it. I guess I could put a link down in the description if I really felt like it. We'll see if I remember to do that or not. So here it is. It's this nice tank. It's a 15-gallon. It looks to be in pretty decent shape. Um, looks like it's got a vented fuel cap. Goes there. It's got an on-off valve here. Also comes with a nozzle. A nice fuel nozzle. So you're not lifting that can up. We don't want to do that anymore. And it's got 10 feet of hose. The hose connects to the nozzle and to the can. I had to run away to get the Teflon tape that it comes with too. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hook up the hose to the nozzle and to the can right there. All right, so I'm reading these instructions here because you know that's what we do sometimes. Tells you all the parts it comes with. I already showed you them, the hose, the nozzle, the very important Teflon tape. This nozzle already comes pre-mounted into the tank. It's got an on-off valve because this is going to be gravity fed. So we will have to put this up high. So it's very simple. You take your hose, you put some Teflon tape around it. And there's our Teflon tape. So that is going to screw into the tank, like so. And the directions do say, where is it? Wrap one quarter, half inch fitting with hose with PFTE tape or Teflon tape. Thread into ball valve, tighten with wrenches. So, this is um, probably made in China, is my guess. I'm not even sure. So, I brought my, uh, I got out my metric adjustable wrenches. So, and we'll go ahead and tighten that up. You can find your SAE or standard size adjustable wrenches. Um, those will also be in the stores. I am using my metric ones. And that's pretty tight. Okay, untwist this hose. And now we're going to put the nozzle on it. 
we're going to put Teflon tape on here and then we'll put the nozzle on. You want to make sure the Teflon tape lays this way so when it tightens, it lays the tape down. So we're going to take our tape and get it started. On here, like so. And we'll roll it on itself. There we go. And we'll put a layer and a half or so on it. That should be good. Pull it off. So now you can see the way it's laid down. So when I tighten, it goes with it. Otherwise, you're going to start to unroll it. So we take our handy dandy nozzle here. We'll screw that on there. And I believe the instructions say, let me make sure we're doing this properly now. They say wrap three quarter inch fittings on hose with PFTE tape or Teflon tape, thread nozzle onto hose end and tighten with wrenches. So we have our wrenches, our metric adjustable wrenches here. We'll put one there and we'll take the other one and put it on here like so, maybe, and we'll tighten that bad boy up. You can call it a bad Larry, or you call things bad Larrys, apparently there has to be more than one. There has to be two for them to be bad Larrys. So we have two wrenches, so we can tighten these bad Larrys up. I actually learned that from a CrossFit coach. You know who you are. I want to see if she leaves a comment. See if she watches our channel or not. So there we go. There's our nozzle. This is all gravity fed. Oh, look at that. It's got the... You can put them in there. I don't know if it'll stop on its own when you do that. I don't know if I want to find out. So there we go. Our tank is ready. Oh, look. You can put your nozzle in there. Okay. So our tank is ready to go in. However, I want to... It's gravity fed, so this has to be higher than the tank on the tractor. And we don't want to have to lift this thing up. So what we're going to do, we're going to build a shelf on that wall in the back of the carport we built. So let's go see where we're going to put that. Our shelf is going to be right up there. You can see where I drew the line on the wood. That's where the shelf's going to be. And we're going to put our tank right up there. And that way the gravity feed will work when we want to fill the tractor. So let's start working on our shelf. We're going to go ahead and get started on our shelf. We're going to put it up here on the wall, like I said. We're going to screw into this 4x4 four four here. I'm not sure if you can even see me. There we go. That's pretty sturdy on there. Now we're going to run a piece across here. We'll screw that in. And then we can add some more supports on the shelf. Most of my screws I'm going to put in from the back side. But I'm going to put one in now just to hold it here. And then I'm going to go around the back side and screw it in from there. Just gonna hold that and I'm gonna put one in this way over here, toenail it. It's not really nailing, I guess it's toe screwing. I don't think we want to go there though. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go on the back side and I'm gonna screw it in from there. I should be able to see through these cracks where it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some screws in there. All right, so I look through the cracks and I can see my board starts right about here. So I'm going to go ahead and every few inches I'll put a couple screws. All right, we'll go on the inside, see how we did. Actually, we did pretty good. You can see where they came through a little bit, each one, so we got them all right in there. Okay, we put our other support here. Now we're going to go across the inside here with this one. And I went with a 2x3 this time. 
only because I didn't feel like walking back out to the lumber yard to get another two by four. Safety first. Now we'll cut a couple boards to fit on, fit on top and then we're going to make some braces to go along here. probably do another one on this one too right about here there that's pretty solid now now we're just going to cut some pieces to go across all right so we got a couple one inch boards we've cut for our top of our shelf I got a one by eight and a one by ten so we're going to go ahead and screw these on now and screw those down and that should be about perfect. Look at that. Yes, right. Yeah. So let's go ahead and screw those down. And there it is. We'll show it to you now. So there's our shelf. It's just a simple wooden shelf we put up. It's got some supports on it because that tank's going to be about 140 pounds when it's all done. This is pretty rugged, pretty solid. Could probably sit up there. So let's see what it looks like with the tank up there. So this is what it's going to be like with the tank up here. We got the on off valve here. You just turn that on like that. We grab our nozzle and it's all gravity fed. So we'll be able to fill the tractor like that. I put it, it's low enough so that I can lift it up with the tractor bucket because it's gonna be about 140 pounds when it's full. So that's that folks. So we're gonna put some fuel in it and fill up the tractor. Okay, boys and girls, the tractor's back in the carport. There's our tank right there. We're gonna give this a try. Open up our tank. We're gonna try it one-handed. I don't know how we're gonna do it here. So we're gonna come over here. Open up our valve right here. Take our nozzle. Now I only put about five gallons in there, so let's see how this works. Ooh, look at that! It's working. Ooh, yes, sir. So that's going to work much better. than uh, gas cans. All right, I like it. Well, that's gonna do it from the mountain again today, folks. We got our new tank up, it's working great. I really like that. Um, I'm not gonna be able to lift it up there when it's full. This time I just had a five gallon can. I just put it in there and it was quite a trick getting it up there by hand. I did it, but I don't want to do that again. So that's why we got a little bit of leeway there with the height so we can lift it up there with the tractor. Uh, we can just put it in the bed of the truck, bring it down to the gas station, fill it with diesel, bring it back, put it up there with the tractor and we'll be good to go. So uh, if you like this idea, let me know. If you want to see more of this stuff, you can let me know that too. 
So uh, subscribe to our channel, share us, give us a thumbs up, tell people about us. And as always, folks from the mountain, God bless. We'll see you on the next video.